I swear if that, that other strike hits me. God! in the end. Fuck! <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I will admit something about Zelda lore and world building that I think is, is kind of silly. The fact that Hylian and Hyrulean refer to two different things that's that's needlessly those are two vocab terms that do not need to be that similar now you could easily make the um, excuse that it is uh, uh, what do you call it um, within the world of Zelda um, Are you fucking serious? You all you, you all saw what that was, right? That was a charge. That was a charge where initially, fortunately for me, there was a bokoblin blocking the other bokoblin's way, so he was kind of charging into nothing or at least charging very slowly because he was getting held up by his buddy. And then on my slam attack, the slam connected to the ground, which killed the front Bokoblin. And for some reason didn't kill the goblin behind it, even though it is a shockwave. That's the whole reason that that attack is so appealing. Um, and in fact, I ended up so close to the goblin behind, the one that was mid-charge, that the charge hit me and killed me. So that sucks. I feel like nowadays the archers are getting way antsier than they used to. God damn it. I'd really like to defeat Mokdorok tonight, but I've only got one more good run in me, so let's make it count. God, are you fucking serious? The other guy the other guys didn't even matter. It's just the it's just now it's literally like the archers are my greatest danger. Because when all four of them start shooting at once, it is borderline impossible to guarantee that me killing one is not just teeing up perfect timing for one of the other ones to hit me when my shield's down. It's just, a, it's, that's another d20 roll. 11 or above, you win. Nine or below, you die. God, are you fucking, God, I can't, I can't. I, 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 hmm, hmm. Hmm. In my D&D &D campaign, I'm going to invent an item that's called Archer's Bane. And it's a sword that does 10d12 damage to anyone that's currently holding a bow. There's no recharge on it. There's no limited uses. But just every single time you hit someone who's holding a bow, 10d12 damage. And ironically, that wouldn't even really help, because all these archers die in one hit here, so the amount of damage doesn't matter, but I'd feel satisfied if I knew I was doing overkill to them. Yeah. Yeah! Like, that was... I, I didn't even... I, I usually don't just swing the big sword. It's usually not worth doing that. But it's not like me doing it that particular time was the reason I died. I just died because the archer was looking at me. Am I crazy? It seems like when I was starting out, like, maybe I am just killing all the other Bokoblins like way faster than I used to and thus since only a certain amount can be aggroed at once 
the archers are activating sooner than they used to. But it really feels like the archers are becoming a problem way sooner. And, like, they should be considered out of range. And the game has decided that nowadays... Nope, they're all going to fire at you at once. That's like a firing range as a treat. Just to keep you on your toes and to kill you many a time. I really want to kill Mokdorok tonight, guys. I really want it. I want it real bad. Don't understand how that guy did not get hit by a shockwave, but okay. Sure. Sure. Forget I have the sword out already. Oh, word? That was sooner than I expected. See, like, the fact that that sword swing got blocked, I'm happy about, doesn't make any goddamn sense. That makes even less goddamn sense that sometimes an attack that comes from, like, 2 o'clock does not get blocked. Okay, we are back in it. Uh, I got a little sloppy this time. My Zonite shield is not broken, but it is damaged. Uh, which usually has not occurred by this stage of the game. Um, so that kind of sucks. But hopefully it will not bother us too much. But we'll see! Uh, shields are important for um, blocking the Muckdrock laser, if I'm not being careful about my positioning, slash in stage two, I'll have a lot less choice in the matter. Um, but uh, hopefully it will not affect us too badly. We do have two decent shields, although I did not pick up the Hyrulean one. I don't know how much of a difference that makes in the long run. I know it can put stuff on the shield. I have no idea what actually will make it, if anything, makes it stronger. Um, maybe while I'm on Colgara, I should try that at the very least. Because the shields have, yeah, the shields have numbers, right? Yeah, they're at 40. Couldn't hurt just slapping something else on top, right? Yeah, actually, surprisingly, staying directly over is is actually a pretty good bet most of the time. Let's just see what happens if we slap something on here. I haven't seen any items that say, oh, they're, you're, it's, it's a good thing to add to a, um, shield, but, like, slapping this on couldn't hurt, right? Plus 17. That's cool. <laughs> Why not? It makes Link's whole arsenal look even more busy, but that's fine. Oh, I don't like being this close to you when you start that. That was rather rude of you, actually, to have done that. like a stronger bow for this.
for a second there, it seemed like I didn't get it. Because my stamina ran out. Is that because I was just on the paraglider for too long in a row? I keep forgetting I have to reset it by uh, putting the, the thing back up. But keep forgetting, I mean, that's the first time it's actually caused a problem. But I forgot that it can be a problem because that has not happened to me in a while. Slash almost ever. Cluster. Ooh, I went right through a loop there. That's fun. I will say, and this is not a criticism, but it is often hard to tell how close you are. I really thought the, that first arrow was going to do it, and I was way further away from him than I thought I was. Did he already teleport, or is he going to teleport again? I think he's back in the game. I'm fine. <laughs> it is... It is... Because his movements are so erratic and he's so fast, I think it it is fair and kind of the game to make it so that physical contact doesn't instantly hurt. It's also rather goofy that that's the case. I know I've said that before, but it's this is very funny to me. It makes me laugh every time. Booyah. Alright. Let's get this done. Let's not be hasty. Let's be smart about this. We're going to do business as usual for stage one, because I don't want to waste too many arrows. But once we get to stage two, we're definitely going to use the double up trick. way. That was terrible. He's laughing at me. I wish I had more to say, but man. The Bokoblins are tedious and annoying, and also I die to them a lot. At least I don't die to this guy a lot. And I wouldn't consider it annoying. It is tedious, it's boring, but it's not annoying. So props to you, Marbled Goma, for that. Save our arrows. Yep.
So scary. Not get me. That would be an embarrassing way to lose some health here. Oh, word. Okay, I guess that doesn't always work perfectly. Good to know. But hey, when we do pull it off, it's going to be feel it's going to feel really cool. Okay, that did damage, but that time it did not stun him. So I think I have to... I think the damage has to happen before he actually starts the attack. Which is, again, good to know for timing. I, I also... I'm happy that this is a strategy that makes things easier and also does not increase risk factor that much. It would... It would I would feel way... have to feel way more scared... Like, if this was a risk-reward thing, I'd be like, oh, is it worth it? It'd be embarrassing to die with Marbled Goma, but, like, no, he's, he's just as easy as always. This just makes it faster. It does use up my bows, but that is an issue I think we can deal with. You're already dead. Uh, took one last sip. I am out of water, which is either a good sign, meaning that this is the last time I'll have to deal with this guy, or it's a very bad sign. It means this run's going to go very badly. So let's see. Let's see which one it's going to be. Not falling for the splash again. Never, never again is that going to kill me because I'm like, oh, it's not that big a deal. I might die to it again. I'm not saying I'm never going to die to it again. But never again will I die to it because I'm underestimating the splash attack specifically. I don't like that it looks so puny, but then when it's running around, you realize that, oh, it's as tall as Link still. Like, that's not a, that's not a happy thought for me. The fact that I can hit him on that is really nice. Holy shit. Yeah, we have not actually used up our sledge. Why don't we... Yeah, get that... Get that going. Okay. 
Let's be careful. Let's take it easy. Let's try to keep him targeted at all times. Let's also remember to keep our shield out if we're worried about... God damn it. Sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Why didn't Link get his shield out? Did you guys notice that? I, I had a shield equipped, and I had the weapon away, and Link just did not get a shield out. That was weird, right? Like, it wouldn't have mattered. I'm aware it wouldn't have mattered. But if the laser had come out, it would have mattered. I would have died. I would have died anyways. Okay, note to self. Always have water in your water bottle in real life when fighting Muktarok, because it will go badly if you don't. That's, that's what went wrong here. Guys, we got to phase two of Muktarok. We did damage to him today. I really wish we could have killed him today, but that is definitive progress. And that is always a good thing in this Let's Play because it's been a hot sec since we heard that. So, good shit. Good night, everybody.